cheating. Bro, bro, you're cheating. Bro, relax. You keep fucking playing on my side. You talking about like fucking cheat. Yo, you owe me fucking money, man. Oh! Hello, Mr. Crimbo here. Chess. One of the oldest games of strategy. And there is no other game that makes people respect your intelligence more than chess. And I want some of that nice respect. Unfortunately, I'm not great at chess, so let's see if I can program it instead. Much easier. Okay, sorry to flex here, but I have programmed chess before. But there is definitely some room for improvement. So in this game, I hope to add... Castling and Ambassant, the two weird rules of chess that only true chess players understand, and makes people think you're cheating. Peace selection for when a pawn gets to the end. Now before I switch the pawn with one of eight replacement queens on the board, to be fair to me you would have to be a complete dumbass to pick anything other than a queen. Better AI. The AI that was in my last chess game is a tiny bit shit. Local multiplayer, as well as player versus computer. The ability to play as black. What can I say? Racism makes me sick. Custom and random chess piece setups. Just for the fun of it. So let's start the process. I'm not going to use my old chess game. I'm going to start from scratch. One reason is because the code of my previous chess game is utter spaghetti to me now. And two, better for the video if I start at the beginning. So let's make a new Unity project and import some free assets because I'm broke and can't 3D model. Anyway, I got the board in the scene, and thanks to Andrew here, for the free chess set. All the quads match up to the squares, this will save me a lot of trouble. Now if my newfound knowledge of prefabs is correct, this should spawn in two chess pieces. Yay! Step 2 is setting up the rules. So after a while of looking at numbers, I got it working. A method where you can input a board and a piece, and it will output a list of all possible moves. Using this method, I should be able to calculate basically everything in the game. From if a move is legal, to if a piece is in danger or a king is in check. But it needs something else. Check removal. After some more debugging and looking at numbers, I've successfully made a method that will filter the results from the last method and remove any moves which will lead to a check. So this is step 2 complete. I can now use this method to tell when a move is legal. On to step 3. Step 3. Moving. So after a bit, I got it to pick up a piece and show where it can move. And after a bit longer, I got the pieces to move. And castling an ampersand seemed to work fine, which is good. Step 4. Checkmate. When this game is finished, I'll make it cut to an ending scene to display the winner. But first I'm going to have to actually check for checkmate and stalemate every time a move is made. So here we go, and uh, okay, hold on. Simple example, and yeah, it works now. And stalemates work too. Back to step two. Okay, I forgot to add in the system to change the pawns when they get to the other side. So let me do that real quick. Okay, let's test it, and it doesn't work. Hold on. Okay, now let's test it, and still not 100% right, but I know why. Okay, got it working, and it's done. Kinda. At least the main chess game itself is done. You can have a game right now with someone. Sure, you would have to look at the console to see the winner, but it, it still counts. But now on to the fun stuff. Step 5. AI. After much thought, I'm going to add more than one AI. I'm going to make a system which allows it to load different AI. That way I can add new chess artificial intelligence. If I can think of any that is. But for now I'm just going to add three that I've already thought of. First AI, Randy. Like the name suggests, he will just move randomly. He's very easy to beat. Second AI, Taylor. The Taylor AI is my attempt at recreating the first chess AI I made. Nicknamed Taylor after a friend who likes chess. This AI is alright. It can give you a good game, but once you know how it works, it's quite easy to beat. So a lot of really good chess AIs generate all possible moves and look somewhat far into the future, which can lead to it planning ahead. Not mine. A process like that would be difficult for me to set up and would most likely lag to shit. Instead, I thought I'd make a simple chess AI, which would do a bunch of checks. So when calculating a move, the first thing Taylor does is check whether or not the king is in check. If this condition is true, it will find and perform a move which takes the king out of check. Side note, 
In this new fancy version of chess I'm programming in this video, the move generator already filters out the moves that lead to check, which means Taylor doesn't have to check himself. But to keep the AI accurate to the original, I'll make it perform the first move it comes across when checked. If one of the checks slash conditions does not generate a move, it will move on to the next condition. If Taylor is not in check, then Taylor will go through every possible move it can make, looking for a move that could lead to the player getting in check. Now I did this thinking this was a good set of conditions, and it certainly makes the AI annoying at points, but it also makes it stupid. It will make stupid moves which will lead to it getting easily taken, in order to get a check. Like putting a castle next to a king for example. Okay, so if the first two conditions don't return a move, Taylor has two more conditions to check through. These next two conditions get compared to each other to see which one is more important, attack or protect. Simply put, you wouldn't want the AI to protect its pawn over taking a queen, or take a pawn over protecting a queen. For this reason, Taylor will calculate and store the best piece it can take, and the best piece which is in danger. If the piece it can take has a higher value than the one in danger, it will choose to take. Finally, if no moves are found by any of the checks, Taylor will move randomly. And that's the Taylor AI. It's alright, but quite beatable. Now on to the third AI, the Val AI. Val, short for value, will go through every move it can make. It will then sign a value to that move. Whichever move has the highest value will be the one Val goes with. Anyway, how do we value a move? Well, the AI will need to look at a lot of different factors. Factor 1. Board position. So this is an idea I got from a chess AI video I watched quite a while back. Okay, basically making the artificial intelligence favour keeping the pieces near the middle. It works pretty well. Pawns are the exception for this rule. It will value a pawn being pushed forward. The closer the pawn is to the other side, the higher the value of the move. Factor 2. If the move is a castling move, it will give it a relatively high value. Factor 3. If the move involves taking an opponent's piece, then increase the value of the move. Factor 4. If the piece moving is in danger, then the AI will value moving it more. Factor 5. Val will check and value a move more if said move leads to it dangering an opponent's piece. I'd like to point out that like the Taylor AI, the values of factor 3 and 5 increase depending on the piece involved. But unlike Taylor, Factor 6. If a move will lead to the piece being put in danger, it will remove any value from factors 3 to 5. After this, I added in 3 more factors to look out for specific situations. Factor 7. If making a move leads to a checkmate, then 100% perform that move. Factor 8. If making a move leads to a stalemate, the AI will avoid it. And finally, Factor 9. If making the move gives the player opportunity to get a checkmate, then avoid it more than a stalemate. Okay, the AIs are done, and just for fun, let's pin them against each other. So not surprisingly, Val beats the Randy AI. And also beats the Taylor AI. Surprisingly though, Randy and Taylor ended up in a stalemate half the time. Probably because Taylor isn't very good at getting an opponent into checkmate, instead just checking them in general. Step 6. HCI. So far all the inputs and the game setups have been controlled in the editor. Same with the output, it also looks very ugly. I'm not great at art, but let's try. Okay there we go, it looks beautiful. The characters evenly moat. If you like this design you'll like the main menu too, which I forgot to record the making of, yay! complete with a game randomizer and a custom board. Also added in the game is an ending scene. Now there's no need for the console. Also complete with a game history. So the chess game is on itch and game jolt. I'll include a Windows and Mac build of the game. If you come across a bug or a typo, please let me know. I'll see you guys next time I upload. Bye bye and please subscribe, we're close to hitting that 7 subscriber goal.